What's up with it, bro? What's up with it, Brody? Shit, shit. Introduce yourself, let the people know who you are. Prophet Morley, ESM, Elevated Street Music. You already know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, ESM, Elevated Street Music. What exactly is that? That's the label, you know, we elevated, you know, streets, you know, elevating the streets. That's what it is, you know? yeah. I like to like to just the elevator part of it. Yeah. I, um, I sent you the video I shared about you hell ago. 100, bro. I saw that fuck me up. Like, damn. Yeah, it took me a minute. I was like, damn, damn, damn. Y'all see your face on like, this dude I shared the hell ago. Yeah. On me. You know, that's why I be on those spiritual shit, man. You know, meditating. You know, just learning me, man. You got to know who yourself is, you know? Yeah. In that video, you were saying, like, basically, you love yourself. Got to love yourself, man. You know? Think about it like they say you only got one car. You want to take care of that car. You want to make sure nobody don't drive that car, the oil change right, so you only got one body. So you got to take care of your body, you know? So I make sure positive energy around me 24-7. Yeah. Now, have you always been like that? Nah, man. I say I got woke 27 my second time down in jail. That's when I woke up, like 2018. Okay. You said 27. Mm -hmm. Oh. I was 27 years old, okay, but okay. 2018, that's when I woke up. Okay, yeah. Well, um, what happened to make you transition into that? Like, <laughs> yes, become woke? You know, it was really, you know, my you know, my ex, you know, she was always meditating, all this spiritual shit, but I was like, you tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is you on? But I got locked up, she sent me this book called As a Man Thinking by James Allen. Mm -hmm. Woke me up, I read the book, and I've been on it since then, man. Do you read a lot? Oh yeah, always. What's the last book you read? I Went to the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's um, Napoleon Hill, that's another good author also. Oh, he going. <laughs> yeah, he going. I'll be on it, bro. Yeah, yeah, I be, I'm into that too, that's why I asked you. Straight up? Uh, oh yeah, you I, know. Like you said, shit, the same thing. I read one book and I was hooked since. Shit. Man, <laughs> yes, hey, knowledge is power. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, you say you, you, say, you say you sat down the last, last time you sat down? Yeah. I sat down for three years. The first time I did five years, I sat for like seven months, went right back. Had a 15 year bag up, on camera shooting somebody, I caught the gun, I still beat the shit, man. Yeah, man, I'm blessed, man. So I know this is what this what's going for me to do right here, this music shit, man. Yeah, 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 yeah man, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess you just said what was the reason. What, what was the reason um, was the last time? Was that the last time? Or? First time shooting, second time another shooting, man. I got like four assaults on my record. Damn. Yeah, man. <laughs> you said you <laughs> got like four of them, bro. You said you so St. Louis, shit. Man, so <laughs> St. Louis, man. It's dangerous out here, man. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think it's so dangerous in the city, man? Jealousy, hatred, you know, hating. Missouri stands for misery. <laughs> Real misery, man. Just misery, man. The environment we in, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now with you, I guess becoming woke, well, do you try to um I guess get your peers to kinda of get on that same track or even just get a positive thinking about themselves? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, you know. Now, you know, it's fucked up out here, but you gotta put yourself in a good situation. So you see who I'm with, I'm with family, man. So I just be with family and people that's on the same frequency level I am in, man, you know. Yeah. God got me, so I ain't worrying about nothing. Definitely. That's good. Like you said you got to try to build your people up around you because I seen like um, a post that one that said something like people always wait till someone somebody get killed. Like damn, bro, I wish you did this and all that. And why not when they hurt, you know, try to keep them on the right track? Why right. wait till they dead and wish they was, you know, out of, out of the way as people say they claim to be? Right. I if, agree. If you love them, you know what I'm saying. If you love them, right. <laughs> but. You can't say everybody in that water, man. You know, you try to say everybody in that water, you're gonna drown with them. Definitely. You know? You say you tempt, but at the same time, you gotta worry about yourself at the end of the got day. Got to. You're born by yourself, you're gonna die by yourself, you know? Like, this ain't no U Haul trick. You can bring everybody with you, you know what I'm saying? So, we just a spirit on a human experience right now, you know? Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, um, get to the music. Um, what made you start rapping? I've been rapping since I was like five. That's my sole contract. <laughs> just, <laughs> I was here to do that. I've been doing this forever. When it wasn't cool back then, you know, my phone wasn't rapping back then. Everybody doing it now, but I've been doing it. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, are you working on like any projects? Yeah, right I just now? dropped everything red October fifth. Okay. 
I'm working on this Shaq and Kobe with my brother Dichie Dichie. That's for the drop January 1st. Yeah. I know uh, Dichie Dichie, you know, what's the other one? D Lyric? D Lyric, yeah, I mean, that's bro, that's squad. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've been tapped into them a, a while ago, like, I guess, it was probably like a good 10 years ago. Ooh, wee! It's a long time. I remember time. This, uh, DG, 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 D-Boy. D-Boy, yeah. Me. I remember, yeah. That's I my brother, yeah, man. You know, yeah. I definitely, yeah, definitely be tapping into that shit. Yeah. Now, how has your progress been over, um, I guess, the course of your career musically? I've seen that you recently just released, was that Game Tag? Yeah, that motherfucker yeah. at 9K in four days. You know, I never really took it seriously. I was in the streets. Rapping here and there, but since I've been out, I've been out for like a year. I just now taking it seriously and shit going crazy, man. It's going up, real up, you know what I'm saying? So I really taught taking it serious, been like a year. Yeah, yeah. Like a year. Now how um, in tune are you with like the business side of it? Uh, real time, real time. I got a manager named Dice, you know, he the uh, CEO of ESM. You know, we taking off with it, man. Are uh, all of um, the guys you just named, um, D-Lyric and Dichie Dichie, are they part of the ESM? No, they versatile mafia, but it's family though. You know, it's me, Breesky, with ESM. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, as far as your, I guess, the way you develop your music, is it freestyles or written or what? Punch in. Man, I ain't writing no... That's freestyling too at the same time. Yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't writing no verses like 2011. You know, it sounds better. You just going over here to beat, you know, your level just say will come out. You know, uh, I ain't writing the hellers. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't got time to write, but I just going over here to beat. Okay, I'm gonna just sauce it up, you know. I mean, I should always be saying hell of us like the same similar style. I can make sure I can get out and do that shit. Hey, it's easy. <laughs> hey, what you say is how you say it. Mm -hmm. How you say it these days, man. Yeah. Now, overall, how you feel about like um, St. Louis music scene today? <sighs> They all sound the same, man. Dissing each other, man. Everybody dissing each other. You know, like, high speed music. Um, no creativity, for real. You know, I respect it, though, because you heard, like, oh, this was St. Louis artist, but everybody sound the same. And I just did an um, interview with a guy the other day. He said that um, they don't really have, like, St. Louis sound. They more so gravitate towards, like, the Atlanta or the Chicago style. For, especially with the dissing and shit. That's a fact. I agree. St. Louis is, yeah, that's a fact. Saying ops and bando, we take a lot of people, you know. Exactly. <laughs> take a lot of people little lingo, you know. You know, it's, it's a fact. I agree. Uh -huh. Outside of um, the guys you named earlier, do you work with any other artists here locally? Nah, man. It's only been so far family, you know. I like to work with a couple people though. It's a couple people I think that's nice though. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> go back to like the um. I guess the positive mindset, or just how you said about the city being dangerous. How do you keep yourself out of the trouble like today? Keep it 100. I mean, I work 14 hours a day, man. Free on the weekends, go to the studio. I don't be in the streets like that no more. I did what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? I put my work in. You know, it ain't, it's watered down now. A lot of rats, niggas fucking with rats. It just ain't the same no more, so I just stay out the way. You know, I got a story to tell. Just read my little story, you know? Definitely. And you see it as just like the situation just happened with Dolph. Fuck me up. Going back to his neighborhood, you yeah. know? Sometimes you gotta leave, man. Like people are straight back door, you jealousy, you know? So you gotta just stay out the way. Too comfortable. Well, definitely shit. Like you say shit. That's what Bushy said. Motherfucker see you rise up in your own city and they just like, man, that's nigga, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You was in the same position as them. Now you doing shit that I ain't doing. Motherfucker just hate you just because of that. Just because. I seen it now. I just started. Motherfucker like, damn, you switched up. Nah, I'm just elevated. You know, you got to be on the same level on my own for me to even talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So, I see it already. I just started. Motherfucker's already saying I'm bougie and all that. Nah, I'm just focused. You know? Mm -hmm. with, uh, would, you, would you transition it, I guess, with, the, um, with your mindset? How was that with your um, friends? For me, myself, I went through that personally, like you saying, as far as like gravitating toward, away from the streets. Motherfucker, like you said, oh, you changed, or you, you know, I heard a motherfucker ask me, do I still listen to rap music? 
Like I'm like I'm some church going on my foot. Ain't nothing wrong with you know church yeah. like that, but that's how my foot shake came. Straight up. Yeah. Same with me, you know. I be on, you know. I get on the internet, say some positive shit every morning. My like, damn, prophet or Muslim or something, or he talking that. No, I'm just trying to wake my people up and show y'all this the way. But they look at me like, damn, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, he a clone? No, I just yeah, woke up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I woke up, man. This the way. So motherfuckers be like, damn, bro, it ain't that. It just ain't that no more, you know? Yeah, you still the same person. Still the same. It's yeah. still in me, but trying to grow. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't growing, the shit did. Got to grow. Got to grow. At the end of the day. How do you feel, like, um, as far as, like, religion? I don't believe it. You know, I believe it's a creator. It's a higher power, but religion... It's a man-made thing. Control. It's controlling. Heaven and hell. The soul can never die. You know what I'm saying? So they made this like, if you do if you do bad, you go to hell. Remember how we was like, Santa Claus, we thought Santa Claus was real. Yeah. Just for you to be good, you get that. When you find out it wasn't that, it's not real. You know what I'm saying? It's about you. Universe. The first letter of the universe is you. You look in the mirror, you see you. It's all about you, you know what I'm saying? You are a guy, you know what I'm saying? But people ain't ready for that talk yet. Hey, Cause no. I think religion started in 19, I wanna be wrong, like 1917, then slavery started five years later, you know what I'm saying? Like Muslims, Christian, Buddha. Why just be stuck to one thing? I can go to Burger King, McDonald's, Whitney's, and know everything. Be versatile. You know, all of them saying the same thing. Yeah, it's a different way. Different ways. Different you know what I'm saying? I say the same thing. So, I think it's all just um, their own interpretation of spirituality. What you said. So it's just like, just do righteous, man. Be you. Because your heart got to be lighted in the feather, man. Like, you can't have attachments to nothing, man. So. You know, the religion is bullshit, but you know, I'm not gonna argue with people about it. You know, if that's what you do and make you a better person, go for it. Go for it. But I know I'm a guy and I've heard the manifest, you know what I'm saying? Like we move into the fourth dimension right now, so it's easy to manifest right now. Like she very deep as a rabbit hole. She is very deep, you know. Hey, you go on and on. I go on and on <laughs> with it, man, you know. And the people I fuck with, they spiritual too, you know what I'm saying? They on the same, you know. So we just the lead, you know, we're we heroes. Save the day. Oh. How big is loyalty to you? It's everything, man. You know, my best friend, my first case told him, you know, and it hurt. I still got love for him, so loyalty is everything, man. And it's really sad to say, it don't mean nothing no more. People selfish, love you for their beneficial reason. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I'm about is loyalty, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you could choose. What would you choose, love or loyalty? <laughs> <laughs> love or loyalty? Love is a double sword, man. It started with love, and gonna end with love, man. So I gotta say, I gotta go with love, man. Yeah. You know, I gotta go with love. Cause if I love you, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna treat you how I wanna be treated, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, like I said about the Bible, it's religion, but Bible stands for basic instruction before leaving earth. Everything got its stresses in this world, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really big on love. You know, if I love you, I'm gonna be loyal to you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna treat you how I wanna be treated. Yeah. But you can love somebody and still not be loyal to them. Talk that shit. <laughs> You're right. You can love Talk somebody. Talk that like shit. Said, so you might. I'm sure, I'm sure your partner that you caught that first hit. He, he loves you, you, but he want loyalty. Want loyalty. <laughs> Talk that shit, man. So hey, I gotta go with loyalty. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with loyalty. I think you're right, dog. You're right, dog. The love will get you fucked up. I think yeah, you're right, yeah. loyalty. Man. Yeah, you can love him up for your own. Woo! You're right. Yeah. I go with loyalty, bro. You're Most right. Definitely. For sure. Yeah. Um, how was life for a young prophet growing up? What part of St. Louis did you, um, you grow up in? Like? You no, know, I um, grew up on Maple and Kings Highway. I was like eight. Then moved to Vernon Union. I was like 11. Then I moved to Jenny's like 13. Okay. But I hopped out the porch in Jenny's though. That's why I rep all my family from the West. But I'm from Jenny's though. That's why I hopped out the porch. I go to Jenny's and I wash my head, you know. So it was steady, you know. So that's where I'm from. How was life as a young prophet? You know, I had a good, I got, I had a good, you know, mama, you know, only child, you know, daddy was around, you know, session eight, you know, it was cool, you know, 
Mama made sure I had everything, but it was a struggle, you know. I can't complain though. Right. Um, do you have any kids yourself? Got two. Okay. Got a daughter for to be twelve, my son ten. Uh, you look how old are you mean? Thirty. Yeah, I'm the same age. Hey, we look young though. Hey, <laughs> hey, we look, hey, we look young. You're like, you 30? Yeah. I'm me. I'm me. Yeah. But, um, with you having kids of your own, like, what, what did you learn from, I guess, your parent? You know, people, they don't understand, like, as a parent, we go through a lot, you know. Uh, sure. Our children don't understand. They just see the world, you know, they think, oh, it might, it might grow up, but, oh, man, my parent didn't have this, they didn't do this, or whatever, they like, this way. What are you doing to, I guess, raise your kids in a better way than, than you probably deemed your parents and did. You know, it's hard for me because, you know, I, I miss most of my kids' life, you know. I did five years, got back when I did three years, so it's still a learning progress, you know. I never had no father, never had no male role figure, so it's still a challenge to be a father, you know. So I'm still learning, you know. A lot of these days, kids is raised by social media, man. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. The parents will be there, but the parents on their phone, the kids on their phone, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm working on it, man. You know, I got my daughter right here with me right now, so, you know, just working on it, man. It's a, it's a process, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust me, I know, man. Especially yeah. like you said before, with your father, shit, when not having your father. I had my father, but you know how it is, man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> fathers, you know, be outside, you know? Yeah. So, I'm still learning. Like, this, like, I've been out for a year. This, like, the first time I've really been active, you know? Been there, so, you know. Yeah, keep doing it, man. It's never too late, shit. Never, never too, too late. late. Um, coming to a closing here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask you one more question before we get to close it out. Where you get the name from? Prophet Morley. Man, I had a prophet, I was like 14, like about money, always trying to make some money, you know. Then Morley, I was locked up, I had long dreads. I mean, your name should be Prophet Morley. I stuck with it then, you know. I had to cut my dress off, caught a case on the run, I had to cut my shit off. But that's how I came with the name, Prophet Morley, though. Okay. Um, coming to a closing here, you got any last words you'd like to share? Man, go and check out everything red, man. It's on every platform. Check out motherfucking the new video, Gang Tire, the motherfucking 9K. Shaq and Kobe about to drop in January, you know. RIP YC, RIP the Fabo, free all my bros, man. You can look up me on Prophet Morty 85 on Instagram, Prophet Morty on Facebook.